the merciless sun beat down upon the solitary retreat center. To the teacher's delight, an anemic breeze drifted in through the cinder block window. It played lackadaisically with the loose blade of a defunct fan. And as the fan that had clearly seen better days it began to turn in the feeble breeze, its rusted shaft turned noisily upon its workings. The American students, as if in Baroque counterpoint, began to complain and whine and vetch, for truly that is the song of my people. That noise, they lamented, is ruining our meditation. What were they expecting for their teacher to beg and grovel and scrape apologies like a minor Dickensian character? How surprised and not a little disappointed were they when Bonte had a good laugh at their expense. Why does a wine glass shatter when dropped upon a surface hard and firm and unyielding? He asked. Because the glass is brittle and rigid and liable to cut your hand as you stoop to pick up its shards. Drop a pillow on the same hard wood floor and it is fine. Why? Because it is flexible. Your meditation is just concentration in disguise, he told the student, and it paves the path of rigidity, anxiety, and controlling tendencies. Elitism, competitiveness, and cruelty. Therefore, replace your rigid concentration with the mindfulness that delights in noticing vulnerably, viscerally, passively, and spontaneously. Offer no resistance as the rusted screech of the fan shaft cuts through your sense organs and mind. Breathe deep into your perceptions, problematic and uncomfortable. For as you exhale, your body will relax, your mind will release, and you will taste of peace.